Hey guys, and welcome back to more The Suffering. When we last left off, we had made it to possibly the pier, I guess. At least we're slowly making our way there. Oh, hello. We have 658,000 enemies to fight our way through, which is fairly par for the course. However, one slight little wrench in the old works is we don't have a huge amount of health, uh, which, admittedly, has never been a problem before. And I shouldn't really be backing off like this. We need to be very mindful of where we're going. There we go. Oof, God. All right. Let's try and take this guy out as quick as we can. He's done. All right. Ammo reserves are oh, that hurt. kind of running out. But ammo does seem to be more or less everywhere. So I think we're good. It's just health. Health is our concern. Whew. Hello. Come on, Em. Let's be having yet. Down to 100 rounds. Really need to check all of our corners, all of our spaces. Make sure that we have everything. We're under half health here. Not exactly good, is it? Ooh, ah, well, yeah, I mean, we've got some, some tablets, nothing too crazy. Ooh. Now, what do we have in here? Um, the fuck? <laughs> it's like it just appeared in front of us. Uh, what have we got? We've got some more pills, we've got a checkpoint, we like checkpoints. TNT. Wow, there's there's like a lot of stuff here. Uh, I guess that's how we get back out. Right, have we got a beep any boops under construction. Well, I mean, okay, if you say so. Plenty of bullets and. Don't you want to stay? Uh oh, uh oh, this is bad. We want you to be here with us. Uh, I would rather not if it's all the same to you. Shit. Oh, great. Not fantastic. Can you die, please? Please, can you die? You girls just really sapped my health away. Shockingly fast. Oof. I don't know if I actually, like, killed both of them. Or what? Alright. So now we have lots of fire to deal with. Too much fire, really. Um, okay. How do we deal with this water? Without water, I should say. Water. Guessing we need some kind of water anyway. Um... I'm not seeing any. I'm not going to see anything obvious unless. Hang on. It's got to be something over here, surely. This is green. Don't you want to stay? Uh, no. I really don't want to stay. Alright? But over this, I don't like you or your kind. Yep, yeah, this is not fantastic. Man, they're hard to hit. Yeah, because the auto aim doesn't really lock onto them. Strangely. Oh! Alright. No? Pump control. Can I island hydro. Ah, right. Okay, so this is some sort of like hydro bullshit here. Cool. Aha! That'll do it. I think. Whilst we harvest up any other goodies. Wait a minute. Wait. Aha! I have a brain. And it can think things sometimes. Is me thinking this was for getting in and out of the place. This obviously will form a watertight seal. 
and is just what we need. How's that? There we go. Watertight seal works almost every time. Uh, let's drop a save. We're gonna put out both loads of fire. Yes. No. Nope. Just one load of fire. I suppose that's better than nothing. I guess. Oh no, I heard that. I heard that. You little cheesy monkeys. Seriously. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, I don't think so. You evil little squirty bastards. Ah, <sighs> Where there's water, there are mainliners, apparently. Who would have thunk it? Are we good? Because we're still really low on health. Bloody mainliner bastards. Honestly. Alright, well. <sighs> Onwards and upwards, I guess. Hmm. It's definitely foggy out tonight. Ooh. Yeah, not a not a pretty sight, is it? Let's be honest. Your murdered wife. Uh that's bad. Oh Jesus. Are we gonna have the Yes, knew it! Of course. These girls seem to just kind of after a while. I don't know if it's just like after a while they stop coming or what. Oh, okay. This is bad. Okay, they can... Yeah, they can still kind of like hover over water. I was really hoping I was being clever there, but, you know. I guess not. Where are you, you underground prick? There you are. Eat that. Alright. Now, how are we going? I'm guessing we're waiting for something to... Ah, wait. Hang on. Maybe not. Ooh. Alright. Some tablets. So, back up to four... Yeah, we, um, mm. right. I'm going to go out on a limb and say we're probably not jumping over that. I say probably. Uh, all right, well, maybe. Bloody hell, no way. Really? Uh, okay. Okay, okay. Let's try. Having a bit of a run and jump here, shall we? See what happens. Can you guess what's going to happen? <laughs> yep. 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 You probably uh, had the same idea as me. All right. So, how then, pray tell, do we get over here? Oh. Oh, hello. Didn't realise there's any more of you. I guess these always come in twos, don't they? Come on. Let's be having ya. Oof. That's kind of a nasty little trick they have there. Any more? So I don't think we can like shove or push. Oh. So you still need some help. In the White House, you showed me just how good a killer you really are. But you don't know anything. Go 
into the dark where you'll see how things really are. Uh, woo, fuck me. I mean, okay. Yeah, sure. Why not, I guess? Um, <laughs> so, did he really, old Gassy there, did he really, um, just spawn a bus for us? I guess he did. Oh, what the hell? I guess he's a good lad like that. Alright. Oh, hello. Didn't see you in that. Speak up. Oh, there's one up there as well. A little bit questionable. So you can shoot me, but I can't shoot you. Is that a little bit cheaty, mate? Yes. Oh, hello. There's more. I guess there's always more, isn't there? And you, you little twat. Ah, shit. Really low on ammo now. At least for this. Ooh. Got a good amount for you, though. Yeah, all right. It's not going to save you for long, pal. Calm down. Next. You. Yeah. I'm not impressed, mate, to be honest. Shoot you right in the dick. Or, you know, just remove your entire chest. Either way, uh, you know, I'm happy. It's all good. So, let's keep going, shall we? One step at a time. Oh. Oh, we haven't seen these things for a little while, have we? That's fine. Whoop. Oh, two for one, baby. Two for one. Alright, well. Looks like there's more. Oh, here he comes. Come on, Try and thin the herd a little bit. Look, if you're going to come out, mate, come out. I mean, seriously. Oh, good lord. Man, I hate those borrowers. With so much passion. Enemies that waste your time. Yeah, get fucked. Don't like enemies that waste your time. Okay. Oh, I love it. Well, it's been a while since we've seen those guys, to be fair. Big bloat bastards. I was going to say, there's no way you're still kicking to. Right, we've got some choices, maybe. Do we have choices? Oh, the town. Well, I guess... <laughs> the burning town. I guess we kind of had some choices. So, I reckon the, uh, the archive pages that we've missed, we've probably only just missed them. No, we've only missed three as well, at least so far. Built on the site of the Puritan village of Goodsmouth, Goods. this town is home to nearly 30 corrections officers <laughs> and their families. It has a single dilapidated general store, a small overgrown park, and a church that for as long as anyone can remember has had no minister. It is generally agreed that no one would live in this depressing place were it not for the daunting distance back to the mainland and lack of ferry service. Wow. That really sounds like a shithole. Not sure why anyone would want to work here. An old red eye. I wonder if that's old red eye whiskey. I used to like red eye whiskey. But over here, red eye whiskey uh, didn't have a metal cap. Uh, it was a cork. Oh, hello. Yeah, it was a cork 
and um, wax sealed. You know, red eye is something that we haven't seen for a long ass time. I used to love that stuff. Way back in the day. Oh, this is bad. Nope, that's not terrible. Yeah, so these... So these just seem to burn out after a while. So we don't actually have to fight these girls. We just wait for them to flame out? Question mark? Let's put that to the test. Maybe? Yes? No? Maybe? Unless their damage is pulled somehow. Nope, we definitely do have to shoot them. Yeah, definitely do have to shoot them. And let, yeah, their health must be connected to each other. Surely. Because I can't work out how that works. Because you can just literally light one of them up. Uh, and then the other one will also die. So unless they're just linked. I don't know. I don't know, man. The way this game does like damage and health and stuff, it's... Yeah, it's odd. Very odd. At least that's the impression I'm getting anyway. Sometimes enemies are like a little bit tougher. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes... Uh, oh, <laughs> population like 51 down to 27 down to question mark. I'm assuming it's uh, down to somewhere in the region of zero. <clears throat> yeah, health is is all over the shop in this game. Yeah, that's fine. I don't... Uh huh. Uh, I'm guessing they're dead because they fell in the water. So, guessing if a fire elemental falls into water, that's probably going to finish it off. My diagnosis is complete. Your cure is at hand. You might think my methods a bit unorthodox, but my results will speak for themselves. Ahead you will encounter something altogether unlike what you've seen before. But I have something that can help you. A device that can cure you, put your demons to rest. But only if it is sufficiently powered, and only if you are in your more, shall we say, primal form. Use this correctly, and you cannot help but be cured. You do want to be cured, don't you, Doc? It's up to you now. Um, alright. So, what is this bullshit? So, we've got to go into mutey form, I guess. And use that magic MacGuffin. As is the style of the time. Get a bit hazy now. Good old Doc's got our treatment ready. Uh, Alright, I'm hoping... Ooh, the Doc's. I'm hoping it's not going to be hazy and like this all the way through. The Doc's. The only functional Doc remaining on Carnate. This is the sole point of entry for inmates and their visitors, as well as corrections officers, and those of us who happen to be married to them. I remember the first day I came to Carney. It was raining in sheets, and the ship had trouble docking. I remember thinking the island didn't want us coming here. I've long thought it would have been better if we had turned back then. Probably would have been wise. This place has just seen too much evil. I heard Mommy scream. And what happened to Cory? He was so mad he pushed me under the water. Why, Daddy? Tell me why. Well, I mean, I'm not entirely sure. It's me. Well, there's no going back now. Oh, shite. So I guess we need to be us as well. 
I guess. Ow. Well, alright. I mean, we died in about 30 seconds flat. In fact, we died faster. <laughs> um, oh, no. No, it's not going to do us every time, is it? Every time we die, it's going to put us back here. Oh, game. Oh, game. And considering we die in, well, not even seconds, this is going to be something. So I'm guessing we need to use that weird thing there. Now, wasn't that in the asylum thing earlier? We remember seeing that before. We, can we save the game whilst we're here? We actually can. Seriously. I like that. Alright. Better. Yeah, okay. We didn't actually... Ooh. Alright. We're not actually dying in one hit anymore. Which is good, I guess. I mean, we're dying... Or we're taking a lot of damage. Right, what have we got in here? Ooh, we got some grenades. Alright. Oh! <laughs> okay. So. We've learned something together, guys. We've learned that that was a sh really bad save point, apparently. Yep, that was an awful save point. Uh, we have also learned that we apparently can... Uh, kill this thing. Uh, which is nice. This thing is strong. Yeah. Fucking hell. Alright. Okay. Um, <laughs> I've really balls this uh, up big time, haven't I? By putting us there. Actually, maybe. Maybe not. Okay. We saved. We've saved. We've made a hard save here, guys. Woof. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Do we really need these dick bags as well? That's the question. Probably not. So hopefully we can kill this guy and then something good's gonna happen. Maybe. Whoop. Where is he? There he is. Okay, so he doesn't like fire, which is good. Also, us needing to be, how you say, in our alternative form didn't seem to be super accurate. Yeah, fuck off. Fuck off and die. Oh, hello. Really? There's a freaking machine gun up here. I mean, cool, I guess. Alright. Oh, hello. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, really? Oh, that's... Hang on. Uh... So that was actually hurting us. Am I correct in that assumption? That killing that talk is actually hurting us? Alright, let's get rid of you. Can I... Hit this talk, please. Yeah, that's hurting us. Alright, so there has to be something else to this. So we can't shoot ourselves. Alright, what about if we mutate into big version of us? Can we... Right, that works, I think. I guess? 
Maybe? I mean, that worked. Just about. Alright. Um, I guess save again. So... Oh. You never knew your own strength. And Corey never forgave you for going to jail that first time. I guess he just snapped. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. But you've got to think about what you do. Now you're in trouble, T. You've got to face down that anger inside. Make it go away forever. Yeah, well, that won't bring you back, though, will it? Ooh. Whoa, okay. Yeah, that's that's some Bioshock shit right there. Ah, uh, this is bad. This is like really bad. Can we like fiddle with this? Ah, okay, yeah, right. Um. Okay. I mean, that's the thing that we've just done. What did that do? Oh. Uh, oh, we got this like weird magic bullshit stuff. We had that before. Alright. So I guess just throw this a bit and don't get hit. Maybe? Or do we have to be aiming for that central piece? Oh god, that stuff runs out. I see. Ah, right, so... We've got to hit it uh, in the chest. Yeah. Which is apparently way harder than you think. Alright, cool. Not impossible, but it's definitely a little bit spicier than I thought it would be. Okay. Let's just go for mid mid center there. Ooh. Come on, baby. Come on. Take your medicine. I think we're hurting it. Wow, that hurts. We're dead. We're hosed. My god. Uh, I have no idea how many times we have to hit this thing. Um, oh no. No. Where does that put us? You never knew your own. Alright. I mean, that's kind of fine, I suppose. Right, dude, can you just, like, piss off a minute, please? Yeah, sorry, pal, but. I need to do the thing. Can can you just leave me alone, dude? For a minute? For a second? Do me a solid? No? I'm just gonna hang there. Like a penis. Alright, well I mean I guess that well I dunno. I was gonna say I guess that hurts it. I'm not hundred percent sure actually. Right. It's Apparently really difficult. Really difficult, apparently, to activate those controls. <sighs> okay. Alright. Uh, there's literally... Is there no health at all? Because that's our bottleneck here. Our health. Right, so let's save it here. Might not be the wisest decision we've ever made. Let's shoot him until he decides. Wow! I think that hurts. Yeah, man. Oh my god. And the game just. I guess it's supposed to go into that weird slow motion shit. But, dude. Oof. This guy's spicy. 
He's spicy. And we've loaded the wrong save, haven't we? Yeah, because this game does this really weird thing. Where your most recent save doesn't actually appear here. It like goes all the way down here sometimes. Pretty sure I noticed this before. Yeah, there we go. For some reason our last save is like all the way down here. Uh, I don't know why. Um, when I first started playing this game I actually thought my save had disappeared. Uh, it had not disappeared. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Ow. Yeah. Just the save system in this game is a little bit broken, like the rest of the game, really. This entire game is just a little bit Again, not really sure why that was so incredibly difficult to do. <laughs> yeah, every facet of this game is just just a little bit broken. Just a little bit. Just a little bit broken. It's okay. So I'm not sure. Ow. How much damage we're doing to him. Probably enough. But, oh god, we really can't take any more hits. Yeah. So I don't think we actually have to hit that red thing in the middle. I think we just have to get close to it. Which isn't bad, I guess. I think we can't hurt him. Unless it's lit up either. Come on, I need some more of that ooze. Thank you. Well, maybe, I don't know, actually. Ah, oh, here we go. Alright. Yeah. There we go. Ah, oh, that hurts. Are we dead? We're very close to being dead. Got him. Got him. Come on. Give me some more of the funky stuff. Give me some more of the funky stuff. More of the funky stuff. Man, it makes you wait for it, doesn't it? Oh, and if you miss it, I guess... Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Come on, game. There we go. Whew. All right. Come to Papa. Oh, we did it. Oh, we did it. Let's put a save here in case the game tries to do any weird bullshit with us. Archive page unlocked. Listen, we need to talk. The boys need to be with their mother. Don't be that way. You aren't a good father, not in jail. I won't let them grow up violent. They will not be like you. Dad, what's going on? What did you... Mom! You monster. I'll show you. took her away. I'm taking us away. <laughs> what? Get on board, quick. I don't know what the hell's happened, but we got to get out of here. Another boat's coming to pick up anybody else who's left. Khan's been waiting for Abbott to go up in flames. Guess you finally got your wish. But don't get any funny ideas, inmate. Police are waiting for you back at the mainland. Um. There's good times and bad, T. We all want more of the good, but we take what we can get. It's worth it. Love, Carmen. Uh... 
You have unlocked archive pages and a prelude level. Save uh, your settings file for uh, yeah, sure, okay. Um, so, from what I can understand, we got the middle of the road ending there. Um, I guess we didn't do enough good deeds to get the best ending. Uh, so. We actually murdered our wife accidentally by pushing her over and she cracks her head on the nightstand, which, you know, that was, that was pretty bad. Uh, and so our son, in a fit of rage, goes and... <laughs> it's so stupid. Uh, he, <laughs> he goes murders his brother by drowning him in the, in the in the bath because sure what, yeah all right fine and then throws himself out of a window because uh that's how he got revenge on talk I, I, uh yeah i i mean it's you know what it's a thing i guess it's <laughs> it's kind of a funny ending i mean okay so, I'll see if I can get the other endings. Um, might be able to use cheats or something to get them. Uh, I've got a few ideas. Don't really want to have to play through the game again three times. Especially considering, uh, I thought I did all of the good things that we could do. We still didn't get the good ending. Probably because we killed that um, dude, I guess. With the grenade that he walked into, which for some reason even reloading the game didn't bring him back. Yeah, this game's just weird. It's really weird. Um, it's certainly got a lot of problems. But overall, it's a really fun game. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a horror game. I mean, it's not like scary. And, like, it doesn't even try to really be scary. It's just a... I mean, the way we played it, it's just a standard first-person um, shooter, really. Uh, yeah, you know, it's got monsters and stuff in it, but it, it's not It doesn't have like a creepy atmosphere or anything like that. It's just, well, pretty standard. I mean, this is just from what I'm, you know, my um, point of view. Uh, I, I wasn't sure what we were gonna get coming in. To this game because I kind of went in blind apart from the fact that I did watch a LP of this you know like I said before you know 10 11 plus years ago uh, I, I really did think it would lean more into the survival horror sort of space um, I didn't think it was just going to be a, a literally a, a pretty fast-paced shoot em up but I enjoyed it actually you know it, it was a bit strange that we didn't really get any story uh, for talk, but most of the story was revolving the island and the areas around and just all the bad stuff that happened around on the island. And that island had a pretty, pretty interesting history to it, you know. Uh, and I think the island itself was the main character, to be honest. Talk was more of just the uh, plot device moving things along. I enjoyed that. Definitely look forward to playing the second game. Because it does have a sequel and I've got that as well. And I don't even think I've watched... I, I don't think I've ever seen anything of the sequel. The weapons in this game were quite fun. Very limited, you know. But they were fun. They felt punchy and good. You know... I, for a shooter, they were fairly, uh, you know, serviceable. The enemy designs were really good. Some of the best enemy designs that I've played um, that I can think of, really. Some really clever, creative stuff. Uh, especially with the um, firing squad guys. We had the uh, flame girls. They were quite interesting. Especially with the fact that you just had to, you know, shoot them uh, into a pile of ash and destroy the ashes. They were cool. Uh, the guys that scurry around, throw needles at you. They were interesting. I didn't like the burrowers, the mainliners they were. I didn't like the burrowers at all. Not a big fan of those. Yeah, they were just... Uh, I don't like enemies that waste the player's time. You know, you know there's an enemy. It's not even being a threat to you. 
it's just zooming around and there's a lot of um, instances in this game where you, you you don't really run away from enemies you have to defeat the enemies right it's not that sort of game you've got to blast everything in sight so when you're waiting for them to spawn that was a little bit a little bit frustrating but yeah uh, if I had played this game back in the day I would have really really enjoyed it uh, there is a hidden weapon in the game the flamethrower that we didn't get I don't know how you get it. I have heard about it. Maybe we can play around with that uh, in a bonus episode after we finish this one. Uh, the difficulty of the game was really off. Again, it's it's not really a horror game because uh, you know. I mean, I suppose it's a horror game in the same way that I guess Duke Nukem 3D is. You know, it's got like a horror coat of paint to it, but it's not there to make you scare, scared or freak you out. It's just got, you know, fucked up monster enemy designs, I suppose. Um, darker enemy designs. But the difficulty was just really off. Um, and the flashlight mechanic was just... The flashlight mechanic was bizarre because it... You know, when I first started playing and I thought, ah, oh, shit, here we go. Got a flashlight, runs on batteries. Uh, this is going to be a frustrating mechanic. But it was like a non-issue because when you run out of flashlight batteries, which only happen in one level, um, your light doesn't go out. It just dims right down, which was <laughs> kind of interesting. Um, and to balance it out there's more batteries than you're ever going to be able to use in you know god knows how many playthroughs ammo as well was literally everywhere i think this weapon this game could have done with a couple more uh, weapons i think something a little bit more unique um we had like the shotgun shotgun was perfectly serviceable it was fun good time uh did pretty much what a shotgun supposed to the pistols, the revolvers, they were way more serviceable than I thought they were going to be. You know, usually the first standard weapon that you get in a game. That's what you're going to be li uh, relying heavily on. Um, but it was fine. It was actually one of the better weapons in the game. Especially when you got two of them. Almost overpowered. The thrower balls were cool. Although outside some very select instances... They weren't really that useful. I mean, we you did get flares as well. I don't know what the point of the flares were. Whether they actually set enemies on fire or something like that. But no, I think they were chemical flares. I don't know. I don't know. But I enjoyed that. Uh, and I hope you guys did too. Uh, and when we come back, we're going to do one more bonus video. And we're going to have a look at some of this other material. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, until next time.